and somebody who also has uh, over the years uh, been very important in the development and the growth of the Park District and that is uh, Jerry Hanlon was director here for 26 years and he worked with Kay to the Make the Schaumburg Park District what it is today. Thank you Jean and thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to uh, appear today and talk about one of my favorite people. Um, you'll have to bear with me, I have just a bit of a cold. I went to the local pharmacist and asked what he recommend for a cold, the common cold. He said, try prune juice on ice. So, hasn't done anything for the cold, but it makes me think twice before I cough or sneeze. <laughs> I didn't expect to see so many distinguished people here today. Of course, I didn't expect to see all of you here either. Uh, but, um, in all seriousness, uh, about 20 years ago or so, uh, I had a good friend who was a lobbyist, and I was in Springfield. Uh, I just had started as the director of the Schomburg Park District, and uh, this lobbyist friend and I were uh, having a conversation in the state capitol, and Kay walked by us, and he introduced me to her. And he said, Jerry, I want to give you some advice. He said, you get to know Representative Wojcik. She's very bright, she's a leader, and she commands the respect of her fellow legislators. And that was advice well given to me at that time. And over the years, I worked with Kay on a variety of different kinds of grants. Uh, I'm sure there were times when she would either see me coming or get a phone call and saying, oh no, Halen's up here again, Nobody's are ever gonna stop asking for money. Um, but she was always very, very, dedicated toward helping Schomburg in the Schomburg Park District. Um, two incidents that I'll point out. One is the grant that we received for this particular conservation area. And I remember when I was talking to Kay about the grant, uh, she wanted to know what we were going to do and she wanted to be sure we were not going to disturb, disturb her wildlife. And I assured her that the paved pathways with uh, stripes down the middle and the go-karts that we were going to be renting at either end <laughs> would have no effect on those wildlife. Uh, but anyway, uh, this grant that, she received, that we received as a result of her help uh, has provided a great conservation area and it's been used and visited by many people in Schomburg and around surrounding communities. They get an opportunity to walk the paths, they get an opportunity to use the overlook that's a very nice conservation area, no question. Another grant uh, that she called me about, it was on the afternoon uh, of our Schomburg Park District Christmas party that was going to be held that evening. Uh, and she called me that afternoon and she said, Jerry, I've got a Christmas present for you. And I said, oh goody, I'm going to get a calendar for next year from the state capitol. <laughs> and uh, she said, don't be a smart ass. She said, I'm telling you, calling to tell you that the half million dollar grant that you have applied for through the Build, Build Illinois Fund for the further development and renovation of the Ellsworth Meineke Recreation Center was approved. And boy, what a gift that was to the residents of the Schomburg Park District. Many people have used that recreation facility over the years. And that's a result of Kay's working with us and guiding us through that process. She's been a very inspirational person to me over the years. Uh, I've gotten to know her. We've become friends. Norm and Kay and my wife Barb and I, we play golf together. We play cards together. We visit a couple of good restaurants together on occasion. Uh, and we even had the opportunity to spend a week together in France, which was a delightful, delightful time. Uh, I'm proud to know Kay Wojcik, and I'm very proud to say and call her my friend. Kay, congratulations, and thank you. Thank you, Jerry. And before I ask Kay to come up uh, and um, say a few words, I wanted to tell you a little bit about Ocalo. Ocalo is a 17-acre nature conservation area, uh, and the funds that uh, Jerry and um, Ted referred to that she got for uh, preserving this area was in 1992. And the funding supported walking trails, boardwalks, and observation decks. Uh, this area is an oak hickory woodland that's surrounded by a wetland sedge meadow. And there are many high quality native plants and wildlife species that you don't see very often anymore in developed suburbs like this. And that's what makes Oak Hollow so special. 
the woodlands are characterized by mature bur oak, white oak, shade bark history, and their canopy, I'm sorry, shade bark hickory, and their canopy provides an oasis for the shade loving plants. You'll see wild columbine, shooting star, bloodroot, jack in the pulpit, and may apple. The fauna that seek refuge within the woodland include white tailed deer, which love your hosta, uh, coyotes, red fox, a great horned owl, and the downy woodpeckers. At the heart of Oak Hollow is the wetland sedge meadow, and a variety of rare plant species thrives here in the rich peat soils that have developed over centuries of the vegetation cycle of growth and decomposition. You'll see moki flower, shield fern, blue joint grass, and tussock sedge. The boardwalk over the marsh reveals a variety of dragonflies and damselflies. You'll see wildlife like mink and muskrats and birds like the wood duck, mallard, red-winged blackbird, and even the occasional black-crowned night heron. Oak Hollow is unique and therefore very special to Schaumburg. By preserving it as a conservation area, the park district allows the community to glimpse into the past when the vast plains of northern Illinois were interspersed with woodland pockets just like this. Dedicating Oak Hollow to Senator Kay Wojcik, the Park District honors one of its own. Kay shared her love of nature with her family by living here. She shared her love of this community with a career of loyal service. And therefore, the Park District has declared that this park shall be known henceforth as the Kay Wojcik Conservation Area at Oak Hollow. After that, you think she can talk? <laughs>